All right, all right, all right. I think, I think, uh, yeah, she can summon too, man. She's a hacker. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of world exploration, guys. I think that would probably make a difference. Can I, for example, do some, f I don't know, other bosses? Can I do a... Uh, my Flask of Crimson Tears is at plus two. I don't know if that's good or bad. Ah, well then. I don't want to learn anything. I will talk. There's something I should mention to you as well. Ooh. I'm thinking of leaving the round table hold. Do you know of the noble gold mask? Though he was but a tarnished, living outside the lands between, he was a great scholar who foresaw the coming guidance of grace. And now, I hear he has come to the lands between alone to contemplate the golden order. I wish nothing more than to seek his instruction and perhaps even help him in his research. Hmm. May the golden ord Yeah, I can find I can find the, the seeds at the bottom of um those earth trees if I'm not mistaken and I think one of the upgrades in some of the churches and stuff. Yeah. What can I do for you? That's D the hunter right there. Oh, there's still this guy over here down below too. Remember that one? That was also a very smooth battle. Never ran into any problems. It was just smooth sailing the entire time. <laughs> this guy may have killed me. Once or twice. Oh, he's still gonna kill me once or twice more. Oh, no. He went through his own smoke, too. How is Frostbite a neutral thing? Does he have the Canadian... I don't know. Buff? Where you just don't... I don't know. You guys are good against freezing weather, I assume, right? I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit early for the Canadians to tune in. Nah, it's probably a bit too early. It's like 5 in the morning over there. Right, this is where the creepy lady is at. Uh, does she sell any new weapons? Nah. Oh, there are Canadians. What's up, dude? Greta, you here for spirit? I need a grave glove worth. I I I don't know. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I took you for dinner. No matter, it's all the same. Out, you're up. I need one more smithing stone three. I don't know where to get it. No one sells anything that I want in this game. I've been down there. Gotten all those items. I don't want to hug because apparently she gives me a debuff. Hmm. I feel like I've missed so much in this game. Even though I've, I've been exploring quite a bit, when I hear that, like, people have played for 50 plus hours and they haven't even gotten to the boss I'm at right now and I've only played 20... <sighs> Either I'm really good at the game, which is definitely not the case, or I've missed a lot of stuff. <laughs> Those are the only two options, right? Yeah, maybe I didn't miss anything. Maybe I just didn't go there. Yeah. Well, I got a plus eight weapon because one of the NPCs gave it to me. No, I definitely did not go straight on the main path. I've done uh, probably 80% of my time outside the main path of the game.
What's going on, Arn Aaron? Do I have enough for a level up? Hmm, not even. Maybe I can do... Add a charge to flasks? Oh. Okay, now it takes three golden seeds, okay. I was carrying these with me the whole time? Alright. I now have a plus three flask, as well as an extra flask in the first place. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah! Nice! So now I heal more, and I can heal more often. That's probably good. Yeah, I would say that's probably pretty good. Um... I think I can go in here, by the way. I was watching some of my own VOD. I think I can actually just double jump with the horse in this spot. I'm not exactly sure, but... I might be wrong. Yeah, yeah, I moved I moved uh, some of my souls to my backpack. Or to my person, rather. From my backpack to my person, so I can lose them. I'm gonna lose them right here to the high ground, okay? So previously I tried going into this spot, or through this like, wall over here and didn't work. And then I tried jumping, but I think I just misjumped. I watched a VOD of myself, dude. Do you think I can jump that? Cause like, I can't go through here. I, hmm, I'm not sure. And there doesn't seem to be a way to go up those cliffs either, other than maybe going all the way around. I think that's too far. I'm gonna try. It's not! Ha! Non-believers in the chat. Where are you at? That wasn't the actual way to go here? Oh. Well, hey, I did it. Wait, is this a... Uh Is this a very scholarly giant over here? Well, look at you. We don't receive many visitors. I presume you are uh, tarnished. What brings you here? Loot, fat loot. Oh, pardon me. It's hardly my place to ask, is it? I am E.G. A blacksmith who once served the Karian royal. Oh, shit. An old codger who refuses to retire his rusty hammer. Are you Andre? Want to be Andre at least? Still quietly ply my trade. Ed? On this spot. Perhaps you like a display? Perhaps I do. Bones are old, but still able. Mm. Don't mind if I do, I was just complaining about this. Wait, which one did I need again? Uh, none of these. Was it three? Oh, he held or he's got two. He's only got two. Oh, wait, no, these are somber smithing stones, not smithing stones. Yeah. I need a smithing stone three. The fuck is this then? This is just another upgrade item, I guess. Another type. Yeah, I need a smithing stone. Oh, watch out there. When I'm absorbed in my smithing, I lose sight of all else. If you come too close, they're kind of somber. You harm. I am after all. Yeah, maybe they're for they're boss weapons. I am also terribly large, bro. What are you saying right now? Is he flexing right now? Or like, what did he just say? Brave tarnished. A word of warning, if you please. <laughs> this territory once belonged to the Karian royal family. Their manor, 
lies not far beyond this point. When the Rea Lucari Academy turned on the Karians, the Knights of the Cuckoo descended on this trap. The Cuckoo? After leveling it, they carried on to the manor. The Karians were taken off guard, but their strength had not waned, and they repelled the Knights' onslaught by conjuring an enchanted snare that remains potent to this day. That is why I say tarnished. Don't go near the manor. Yeah, I'm gonna go there anyway, dude. I'm sorry. With the corpses of the heedless knights. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go there anyway. So wait, um So this one requires a somber smithing stone, which is the grafted. Okay, this is the grafted blade. I think that was one one of the bosses, I think, maybe. This one takes smithing stone, somber smithing stone for the lazuli. Yeah, yeah, I think the somber smithing stones are used by all the... The boss drops. Pretty sure. <laughs> Little tippy taps with a massive hammer. Alright, so how do I actually normally go through here? Because I died. It was... It was oh my fucking god. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I struggled here for a little bit, man. We were talking about cars, and I was like not really paying very close attention. Alright, anyways, this is an area I haven't been to yet. My pointer thingy points me in that direction. Fantastic. Uh, who's casting? <whistles> well, I know that the guy, you know, he told me that I should not be that close to it. I think it's my theory, yeah, it could be Carrix. Carrix, I think, is probably in the Spear of a Dune somewhere up above. Oh, hey. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm dead. Well, how did I not die? Ooh, hoo. Dude, rats in this game are kind of wild. They're actually quite fast. I have a very fast weapon and I still kind of struggle swinging it. Yeah, I have to take Milo to the vet. I don't think it's anything too serious, but I found them up just to check and they were like, yeah, we should probably just to make sure. Have a quick little look as well. I can't seem to find any food that like doesn't bother his stomach, which is quite annoying. Like ever since we first got him, he's we've never really had like food that doesn't seem to bother him. Toby eats anything and he's fine. Toby doesn't give a shit. Toby just eats anything. He will like it, his stomach is okay. Let's go down, War Gunner. Welcome, welcome. Nah, he's alright, he's alright, but he's just, uh... Yeah, not eating as much as he used to. Like, he used to be very keen to eat, and right now he's not eating as much as I would like him to. So... It's going on, Shiny. Welcome, welcome. Like, a couple days ago, Milo was keen to go and eat his food. And right now he's like, I don't really want to eat. Maybe he's got too fat and he's on a diet. Maybe that's it, dude. I don't think so, though. 
No, there seems to be a loss of appetite. I don't know why. We already had a bunch of tests done in the past, like a couple months ago. But I couldn't find any anything that was like, quote unquote, wrong with him, if that makes sense. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's going on, Skyrim? Don't know what to say, but anyway, it's 44. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. What? Yeah, yeah, so we've tried new food for about two months now. And initially, he really, really loved it, but right now, he doesn't seem to like it so much. So maybe he just doesn't like the food, because he does he does seem interested in Toby's food, but... So I, I mixed in some of Toby's uh, kibble in, in Milo's as well. And then he does eat a little bit, but still like... Maybe 20% of what he normally eats in a day, so it's... Uh, it's not great. I got him this uh, complete raw food, right? So like this, it's basically uh, it's basically ground up rabbit, okay, including organs and bones and the whole shebang, right? Toby goes absolutely ravenous for it. I have never seen him act like that before. I gave a little bit to Milo. Milo like slowly ate it, very you know, very keen on trying it out, but not really too excited about it. But Milo or, or Toby actually started growling at me when I tried to take it away because he was going way too aggressively on it. He has never growled at me. I'm like, what the fuck? This, like, small little kitten. <laughs> very, very excited about raw, you know, meat. <laughs> Anyways. If he was bigger, maybe it would have bothered me. I can imagine, like, he's like three kilos, right? But if it's an actual lion, that's like maybe 300 kilos. It's gonna be hard to take his food away. <laughs> Our cat used to do the same thing when he got chicken? Yeah. I know there's a lot of people out there that like exclusively feed their pets like a, a raw food diet. So they only eat like meat and bones and organs and the whole thing. But like they would technically eat in the wild. Gets quite expensive though if you <laughs> if you want to go and do that. No, we had him checked for kidney issues and stuff. So uh, as far as I know, there you know. But yeah, I am just going back to the vet just to make sure that uh, everything is okay. All right, now I should have enough for a level up for sure. New subscriber. Hey, detected. thank you so much, Max. Max Ray gifting a sub to Feestgeest and Matthias. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, dude. So now it's about 10k for a level up. A little under. No, it's not so much. Like, I, I just hope we find something that suits him well, you know? Something that doesn't, uh... If it's more expensive, so be it. But, um... I don't know. We haven't really found something that he seems to uh, not get an upset stomach with. Which is... A shame. Hey, thank you, Max. Wait, Max, you gave two community subs before your first ever chat message? That's amazing, dude. Appreciate you. Dude, my cats eat better than me, okay? I genuinely seem to care more for my cat's nutrition than my own. I didn't realize that this was a thing as a, as a pet owner. But I obsess more over what my pets consume than what I eat. Donation confirmed. <laughs> Hashtag feed logo. Thank you, thank you, bro. Thank you.
Yeah, I do get concerned about my cat. Which is kind of funny, because like... I can only imagine if I ever were to have kids. <laughs> it'll, it'll be, it'll be like, you know... Ooh, I can go across here? Wait, we can go over there? Is that Sauron right up there? No, I'm just saying, like, I have cats and I'm already concerned about them a lot. And they're still, you know, they're still cats. No, I like having cats. Yeah, cats are pretty great. No, there's only one mountain in this game. But at least kids can tell you if, uh, you know, if they're a little older, how they're feeling, right? Cats don't give you any info, man. Cats don't even show you if they have pain. Like, you gotta kind of make it up out of their behavior. They just pretend that everything is normal. Every day I tell myself I'll go do something productive and then I boot up Elden Ring. Kids do oh wait, your kids don't tell you either if they're not feeling well? What is this? There's something invisible here. Come on! Is my character just fucking terrible? I need a I need a big swinger, man. Ah, all right, this is the spot. This is the spot right over here. Ah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Easy. First try, baby. I just had to study his behavior and then... Yeah, right. I did it. Uh, I think that's mostly a way to go down from the manor. For now, I think I'm gonna go across over here instead. I should probably go to the manor, but... Just a matter of whether or not I want to. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Why not check out the manor? Because there's things over here too! I think the manor is the main quest or something, or at least, like, it might lead to another main boss. Why the fuck did you not, like... Uh, my character's kind of dumb sometimes. I don't really do much damage to you guys, do I? What about my sparkles? I've got sparkles, too. Ah, yeah, the sparkles will do the trick. Nice health debuff, Loco. Yo, are you shaming me for hugging Infusion? Because that's what I'm hearing right now, bro. Toxic. Apparently, the, the lady in the manor, or in the, the, the whatever, she uh, gives you a minus 5% health buff. I don't know if it's permanent. It doesn't seem to go away. Uh, but she gives you minus 5% health. When you hug. Hey, a merchant. What do you need? I don't want any trouble. Aren't you a merchant, bro? Well, oh, this thing has a hundred percent physical resist. All right. Carry it all. all done? You hugged her like five times back to back? Yeah, I don't think it's a stacking debuff. 
I also hugged her like five times. Not back to back, but... <laughs> Look, man, I just wanted a hug. Like, why do you get... Wait, you can consume an item to get rid of the debuff? Yeah, the hug gives you minus 5% health. Oh, she gave me an item. Oh, I don't remember what she gave me. Beldachin's Blessing? Beldachin's Bel Belda? Okay. Oh, this thing? Wait, what? I don't think that's it, bro. That is it? Is this consumed when I use it? Favor bestowed by a deathbed companion. Protection of a hidden temple in the guise of a bedchamber. Uses FP to temporarily boost poise. You get a new one if you hug her again. Yeah, it says consumable. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I guess I'll use it. That didn't remove my 5% health debuff, did it? It just gave me a new thing next to it. Oh no, now it's gone. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right, no more hugging, guys. I'm assuming she will give me another one of those things, but uh Come on! My horse sucks, dude. All right, screw you. I'm not going to fight you. Mm -mm -mm. I don't like the horse. Me neither. Uh, there's big balls over here. Oh, they spew poison. No, horseback fighting though is not as easy as uh, as just like my character doesn't really aim as well, you know. Hey, what's going on, Flare? What's my progression so far? I've beaten the game, dude. Didn't even get hit once. Um, no, I'm currently on a lovely lady boss fight in the main story. I killed a bunch of the main bosses, though. What's going on? Uh, what's going on, Ghost Online? Welcome. Good to see you. Welcome to the live stream. So, there is a thing all the way up there. I have already been teleported here. We should probably see if I can maybe get that... Uh Ooh, a smithing stone. Five. Probably see if I can unlock the map. How do you read the buffs and debuffs? You ask Twitch chat? That's how you do it. Why can't I not use my torch while on horseback? I don't get it. Wait, I, it's, uh, stupid. Well, you can't, yeah, you cannot have it lit while on, on horseback. Thank you for the correction. Wait, you can have the horse? How do I do it? 
Oh, I guess I have to put it in my other hand. Alright. Would I recommend this game so far? Uh, yeah, I think it's a lot of fun. But it depends on whether or not you like the genre. You might not like the genre, but... I know a lot of people have gotten baited into this game. Like, I saw a couple of reviews where people are saying, Yeah, I bought this game and then I realized I don't actually enjoy playing Souls form or from Soulsware kind of games at all. So you gotta be careful you don't get baited into buying the game because of the... The hype right now. Because it might not actually be your game. You gotta be a bit of a degenerate to play this. Yeah. I don't know if you can refund games on, on PlayStation. I have no idea. Can you? Probably. If it fits me well. Yeah, it does. I'm a massive degenerate and I really like this game. Well, there you go. Ew. Ooh, are we here? Another smithing stone. Yeah, I have been here. Oh. Ow! I thought I was out of range. Ooh, another smithing stone. Well, there's so many places to go. I don't even know if I need to go to the manor. The manor is like, it's got an arrow pointed to it, right? So it's probably main story. Ooh. Ooh, okay, nice. I got my smithing stone, so now I can get another upgrade. Have I been in this specific place? You can go anywhere, it's fine. Yeah, but you're complaining that I didn't go to the right place! <laughs> you're the only one saying that I didn't go to the to the matter. <laughs> I'll go to the matter in a little bit. Oh, you're not complaining, you're making fun of me. Ah, right. <sighs> I'm just not gonna attack you guys, okay? I'm just gonna take the things you're thinking about mining. We're doing a loot run. I don't have that many souls anyway. I'm just gonna loot all the little bits and pieces. Hello? Are you alive? I feel like you are. Ow, 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 ow. Oh shit, I've got the whole family behind me, bro. Uh, I think we're gonna die here. Never mind. Ooh, there's some good upgrades over here, though. Lightning Grease? Bog? I don't even know what that does, but I'm excited for it. More things! A somber smithing stone. A sag smithing stone. That's what they call that in the business. Poison, by the way, lasts a long time in this game. Soft cotton. Ooh, hello. Touch grass. Hey, that was nice. That little YOLO run of ours wasn't actually too bad. Alright, I'm gonna go back to... Okay, they're quite r literally next to each other. Uh, I'm gonna go back real quick to... Uh, what's it called? The round table? The table of Lost Grace? Whatever. <laughs> WTF? Yeah, this one is a bit of a stretch, guys. I'll be honest with you. If you're gonna post low hots 
for an item called soft cotton. I hmm. Well. Desperate times, huh? Desperate times. It's okay. I took you no matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms then. Ooh, dude. Do I even want to commit this one this much to the stupid fucking rapier? I guess I do. I guess I do. This is expensive though. It's gonna give me about 10% more damage output. This definitely does mean I need to respect the decks though, if I can. Alright. Now I need a little bit more. What's going on, Televenta? No, there was 5% on the left thing and then also 5% on the bonus. Uh, let's see. Let me just double check real quick. So currently I am getting 129 plus 79. That's worse. Standard. Um, so wait, my current one is 208, right? 208. This one's worse. This one's worse. That one's worse. That one's worse. Okay, Keen is still better. I had to do math on stream. A very dangerous time, but I did it anyways. <laughs> Keen is good, yeah. He's a Terran player. I uh, saw he beat some good players recently, uh, Hard Never. Starcraft jokes. Ha! Very niche Starcraft jokes as well. Hilarious. So funny. Maybe I should have gone to the manor. Because this area seems to be pretty tough. Well, unless you're doing uh, a magic run, I guess. Oh, no, no, look. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Those were very manly sounds I made, okay? Don't judge. Let's go on an inflatable wolfie. Ow. I'm sure the manor will be pure fun and enjoyment. Look at all the damage I'm dealing right now, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be very enjoyable for you guys. Isn't that my isn't that my job? My job isn't for me to have a good time. My job's for you guys to have a good time. And if I'm failing miserably for hours, that just means I'm doing a good job. I have to go to the vet in about an hour and a half. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Isn't this what you came here to see? <laughs> oh. Parkour! Oh. Dude, I am fucking amazing at parkour. Oh, see? A satch smithing stone. Look, you have to go to the vet or your cat? Well, I can tell Milo to go there by himself, but he's only a year and a half old, you know? Maybe when he's a bit older, he can go by himself. Hey, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Chemdog, for the 16 months. You know the worst part about taking your cat to the vet? I've only had cats for a little while, right? But every single time I've been to the vet because my cats have got some sort of issue, right? For example, a little while ago, Toby was like continuously swallowing and he was sneezing and he was like coughing and things were not looking so hot for him. As soon as you put him down, like in front of the vet, immediately they pretend like everything is okay. 
What? So I'm like, I swear, he's been sneezing the whole time. I like, hey, did you know he was not feeling well when I came here? And like, now all of a sudden he sits in front of you and he pretends that everything's fine? Yeah, the vet told me that apparently that's pretty much what all cats do. <laughs> apparently cats just pretend that everything's fine in front of strangers. Never really occurred to me though, before getting a cat, how like... How much of their behavior is instinct and like how... Quote unquote wild they can still be. Like they try to bury their food and they, you know, pretend that everything is okay and they... They have a lot of instinctual behaviors that make a lot of sense in the wilderness. But that don't really do a whole lot of good in a regular home. Differently, uh, or definitely different than, than dogs, though. We had dogs when I grew up, and, uh... They were a bit easier to read. Someone's singing! I think. Let's whip my hair. Was it an actual compliment or a not not so actual compliment? <laughs> you never know. Oh, you meant in the game. Oh, even worse. Why do these stop singing? No, you should continue singing while we fight. Hello. I fought these before, they're not very nice. Okay, here's the strat. We're gonna try and climb up rather than kill all the birds. It's a fucking bad strat. Don't try this at home, but I'm gonna try doing it anyway. Go! Climb! 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 Do I have invincibility frames while on the stairs? On the ladder? Probably not. I'll probably fall down and die if I get pushed off. Hello? God, you're ugly. Sorry. Hmm, a tentacle boss. Did they make this game in Japan? Probably, right? Yeah. What is it with tentacles, guys? I don't get it, okay? I don't really want to get into the details, but like... Wh why tentacles? Wh but like, why? Why are tentacles low hot? What? I what is... Yeah, but it's not just a meme. It's not just a meme, I'm fairly certain. Do I really want to know? I'm curious, but I don't really get it. Ignorance is bliss. All right, all right. God, I love these enemies. The ones that sing.
Japanese censorship is crazy, and thus you sang <laughs> you're circumvented with tentacles? Right. But tentacles now? I mean, it's fine, I don't judge, but it seems to be very commonplace, is what I'm saying. Not what I expected. Ah, shit, I'm poisoned again. Oh, no. There's more to explore down there, man. I'm uh, assuming people in Japan can just use the internet, right? They can go to non-Japanese websites, I'm sure. I don't know, man. The whole suspi the whole thing is a little sus, is what all I'm saying. Ah, come on. I want to go loot the thing you're guarding. Please. Serpent God Curved Sword. I at least I looted it. <laughs> um a strength weapon. a very curved sword indeed. No, I'm gonna keep running my current one. Yeah, that wasn't a great place to die if I plan on... Excuse me, getting my souls. I think I'll just run past everything and then we'll go from there. Wait, it has lifesteal? Oh, shit. Curved sword fashioned in the image of an ancient serpent deity and tool of a forgotten religion practiced on Mount Gil Galmir? Alright. Formerly used to offer up sacrifices, this sword restores HP upon slaying an enemy. Ooh. It's a strength weapon, though. Yeah, I have a bunch of really cool looking weapons, but... I can change the scaling, obviously. Loco, have you ever seen Japanese normal prawn? No, I've never watched... What, what do you even... Uh, I've never seen any of that. Wow, bro. Did you just accuse me? Can't believe this. I'm gonna go straight to hell. If I were to. Which I clearly am not. Good saves, dude. Very good saves. I saw a TikTok yesterday. I know. This is the beginning of a good story, right? You know it's the beginning of a good story when this happens. But, um... It literally said it was by some very religious person. Claiming that everyone who had ever watched porn or has a tattoo would go straight to hell. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, see you guys there. Uh, I mean, uh... <laughs> well, that's not what I meant. <laughs> it says that in the Bible? Yeah, yeah. Um... Alright, fine. We're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of exploration. In the most lovely of places. Known as the manor. 
Did Loco admit to having a tattoo? Sure. You think I have a lower back tramp stamp? I I don't know. I No, I don't actually have any tattoos. Ah! Bro, get out. I don't like it. What's going on, Nolan? Maybe I should be killing enemies. A cookbook. All right. Yeah, I am a little bit early today again. My sleep uh, or my stream schedule has been all over the place recently. I mean, I'm still streaming the hours I normally stream for what it's worth, but I've been doing more hours recently. I know. Passion? Confirmed? I'm working overtime. Yeah, yeah. My boss doesn't even pay me extra for it, Sumo. I just work overtime and uh, that's it, dude. Another Satch smithing stone. Donation confirmed. Yo, Sumo. You'll have to take some tips then. Thank you very much. 200 bitterinos. All the way from Australia. Those are rare. It's like 17 Australian dollars. Oh god. Yeah, this place is great. I'm glad I'm going here, guys. This place is wonderful. I just got chased by a fucking... <sighs> I don't like it. New subscriber detected. Hey, thank you very much, Legains, for the two months. 